Well, hello to you as well out there. Uh, today we're bringing a little bit of breaking information. Oh, wait, where's my manners? Welcome to the Polly Buck YouTube channel, everybody. My name is Paul, and I sure am glad to have you with me here today. Today we're taking a trip to the AppMax company. The AppMax company is AppMax.com, not a sponsor of this channel, so no need to worry there. Fifth coin in this Black Flag series. In front of you, I have the gold version, one ounce gold. Uh, this is a highly anticipated coin coming from the Perth Mint. Let's hover over that P right there. Perth Mint of Australia. Um, They started this Black Flag series back in 2019, and they've slowly been releasing coins from that series, which I think is really cool. The anticipation is there. People want it. It's a great theme. Pirate ships, skulls in the background, uh, always with the rolling water. There was a little trouble with the third in the series. This is going to be the number five. We're going to go back and look at them because these are still available at AppMax. But I'm also going to go and show you where you could find them a little bit cheaper if you're late to the party and still want to get the entire series. Now, I'm starting with the gold because the gold is going to be the most limited in this series. Limited 200 coins, comes in a fancy presentation box, and the obverse is a little bit different on this coin than the rest of them. So let's dive right into the fancy newest coin in the Black Flag series. Henry Every would have been your captain. So let's scroll down. This is what I mean about the obverse. This is got uh, the queen's dates of, of reign of power. Uh, obviously the queen passed in 2022. 70 years in power, the queen. Well, the queen has now passed and the king has taken over. So in 2024, if they continue to do coins in this series, we should expect to see King Charles on this coin. But like I said, they've been so secretive and make us anticipate these next releases that who knows if there's going to be another one in 2024. Time will tell. This is number five. Comes with a very, very cool uh, presentation box. Also, the presentation box is limited, numbered. The problem with these things is this, that, again, this coin isn't going to be numbered, which makes it very, very tough for me to purchase, being it's just a numbered COA. You guys do your best judgment with that if you're collecting the gold in this series. It's coming soon, coming very, very soon. I expect to see this. This is being recorded December 30th. I expect to see this thing sometimes right after the new year, so Get your alert set and be prepared. So let's go back. And really, all you have to do is come to AppMex and type in the black flag. You type in the black flag, hit search, and this is what's going to come up. It's going to bring up every coin that they've done in this series. The Rising Sun was the latest. For those of you who have never collected this series, I'm going to give you a little information on these. Not even information, just we're going to take a look at the coins. Uh, another great looking coin. Again, I have nothing invested in these coins. I just want to get them out there. It's kind of what I do on this channel, show you guys some new releases. Um, and if you are interested, you always want to get on that ship a little bit early. If you miss out and you're late, you're going to see that some of these coins have increased in price drastically. And it's tough to go back and get the first, the second, the third, the fourth, because they do raise in price so much. And why is that? Because they are collectible. The theme of them, these are the five ounce silver BU versions, only 500 in the world. The theme, pirate ships, pirates, death, destruction, skulls, I mean, and just the design overall, the torn up sails, the water always rolling in the background, some type of smoke, uh, skull for sure back there, the Perth Mint P. So this is number four, the Rising Sun, William Moody. Still available today. 
a lot of these have come back on the scene of Atmex since the news release of this fifth coin. So they'll do that quite often. They'll hold stock, let you know that they don't have any, maybe call them even sold out. And all of a sudden there's a new coin that releases and bam, all of a sudden they have more coins available from past coins in the series. 2022, the rising sun, these come in one ounce silver BU, one ounce antique silver, five ounce silver BU, and the gold version. The antique version, any antique version, in my opinion, again, very opinionative, is the much better buy for the collector or your own personal collection. They just look so much cleaner. The detail pops out on these things. Just a better, better buy as a collector, in my opinion. And you can see that this one in 2022 does not have uh, the Queen's Years of Rain, where the new one, the fifth in the series, the fancy, will. Let's take a look right here. The very first coin in the series, 2019, Black Flag, the Black Beard, Queen Anne's Revenge. These are still available back available i got alerted the other day that this was available this is how i knew about the other coins this is how i knew about the new coins queen anne's revenge not my favorite coin in the series but is the first coin in the series beautiful looking coin this kicks off a series check it out up here the colors are up getting ready to strike the skulls in the background like i said they nailed it with the subject matter. $129.17 with credit card PayPal. Check Warrior, $124. Second in the series, also back available. And in my, again, very humble opinion, best looking coin in the series to date. They brought us this one in 2020, the Perth Mint. I just love this giant skull here. Perth Mint P. Uh, the colors also flying on this pirate ship. The Black Bart, the Royal Fortune, number two in this series. These have a mintage of 15,000 coins. So we saw 500 in the five ounce BU version, 200 in the gold version. Let's take a look at the antique version. 1500 coins in the antique version so the set is very limited now the perth mint also does the gods of olympus uh, i like that a little more that's I'm, I'm more into that as far as a collector gods is a great series i think they're up to seven or eight 13,500 coins in that series so a little bit more limited than these coins are coming from the perth mint so we showed you 2019 we showed you 2020 what did 2021 bring us? Well, let's scroll and take a look and see if we can find it. 2021, not available from Atmex. You can go to LPM. It's another website you can go to. Uh, shipping is much, much more, but the availability is there. Kind of the most controversial coin in the series being they stuck the pirate ships in the background. Of the coin and brought the pirate up herself the ching shi the red flag fleet um very very controversial coin because the focus is more on the pirate of this one rather than what the last two were the pirate ship so it got some hate but then they moved on this one again as i said is not available here i did look at lpm and it shows available there Again, shipping is high, but I'm going to take you to another site where these, I believe, are still all available and cheaper right now today. So that was the number three in the series. We already looked at the number four. Gold versions of all the old ones are out. I did show you some silver versions that are still available in these. They also come in a TEP. You're going to see all that on release day, which I tell you is coming very, very soon for this new one the fancy let's click back into the fancy looking for the one ounce version right here 
And again, they returned to the ship. So call it, I don't know, a little bit of a breath of fresh air back to the series, hoping that, okay, maybe we're going to get these ones to sell out. Series four was highly anticipated too, but it did not sell out as fast as many collectors thought because a lot of folks want these things to sell out, get their hands on a few rolls of them, maybe even a monster box on them and buy them for a flip. Coins like these uh, do very well in the secondary market, depending on the subject matter and the availability after the release. And the fourth one, it kind of it kind of got shut down for a while, didn't sell out right away like many, many thought, and kind of thought that the series might be dead after that. But we're going to see if this one's going to bring that series back, make it relevant again. They have the ship as the focus here, always with a skull, a little hidden skull there. Uh, these sales are not tattered. These ones are up, not really ready to be rolling anywhere. I'm looking to see if we can see any type of pirates walking around on deck. There's a chest of gold, chest of chessers right there opened up. Cannon on the front. Again, the focus is on the ship, sure. Not one of my favorite designs in this series. But again, they had the skull right here. Kind of missing some clouds um, with that skull kind of creeping out of the clouds. But again, fifth in the series. Back to the ship as they did in the fourth in the series. Uh, they're doing a little something. They're, they're trying here. I would like to see some of these sails tattled, tattered up, but you don't. So it does give it a little different look than the rest of the coins in the series. So we'll give it that. Again, be ready for these releases coming very, very soon. And I'm talking as soon as is Monday, even maybe Tuesday. And these come from Atmex. These drop right around 11 a.m. Eastern time. Get your alerts set. Now, I want to take you to another site that you can actually pick these coins up today for a little bit cheaper if you're looking to backlog the series. All right, so if you are not familiar with Empire Precious Metals or EmpirePreciousMetals.com, he is a very, very relevant YouTuber, I guess right here on YouTube. I guess that makes all the sense in the world. Ah, Stormy, pal of mine, does a great job on his channel does a podcast weekly on Sundays, I believe, with his coin guy, uh, puts out weekly videos and does weekly auctions. He's on a break from his auctions right now because of the holiday season. By the way, hope you had a Merry Christmas and a very happy new year coming soon. But he also has his website where he has a coin shop. Offered first responders and veterans get free shippings on orders up to $2.99 or more, calling it the Heroes Discount. Thank you, Stormy. We can scroll his website, and I showed you on Atmex that they have the Queen Anne's Revenge back in stock available 2019 for $124, $125. You can get it right now from EmpirePreciousMetals.com for $104.99. This is actually a fair price. You might be able to find them a little cheaper on eBay, but then you're going to deal with that, where Stormy is a very, very well-trusted seller in the coin community, and I wouldn't send you there if I didn't trust them. 2019 Queen Anne's Revenge, available $104. 2020, the Black Flag, again, what I believe is the best-looking coin in that series, $79.99. They have it for $124. All kinds of stuff available. This revolver, the two-ounce revolver, shaped, high-relief, antique finish, $289. There is going to be a series of these gun-shaped coins. So if you're looking to get on that, if you like the looks of the coins of this, he has them here. I don't know if you can find these anywhere else anymore, but he's got them here on his website. Marvel series, DC series. This is the original DC series. The stuff they're coming out with now, I consider it garbage. Again, my opinion, Batman was the first in the series. Very hard co coin to come by. I had a few of them, sold them for a great turnaround profit, invested that money into gold. And that's another video I'm working on is... People get into silver thinking they're going to get rich. We're going to talk about it. 
Marvel series, Wolverine, guy like me found that 2018 air. I don't believe he has any for sale on his website, but let's cruise through it. We're looking for the black flags. He's got the entire Marvel series here. Let's go to the next page. Looks like he's filled this thing up, showing 10 pages. As we continue through, I'm going to remind him he should really start putting those in order. But it's also a good thing because we're getting to see everything else he has. The Gods of Olympus series, he's got them. Shields, more Star Wars stuff, Barber Halves, Kookaburras, Tetris Coin. I remember this one. I've got a few of these. Simpson series. All great stuff here. There's another one for you pirate lovers. All good looking stuff. Let's keep going. See if we find any more of the Black Flag series. We found number one. We found number two. You can go back and pick up at least the first two coins in the series. The Royal Fortune, in my opinion, a great price right here on his website. I'll be surprised if he doesn't raise that price after seeing the release of the fifth one and seeing what Atmex has them for sale, where he's right on point here, $104.99. Great price on that Queen Anne's Revenge for now. I say great price. Yeah, it's $100 for an ounce of silver. Actually, a little more than $100 for an ounce of silver. But that's the way these collectibles go. All right, guys, Black Flag series. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you get into the series early back in 2019? Have you been waiting for this release? And also, if you're new to this channel, you like stuff like this, down below is that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button on your way out. Check out that video. Have yourself a very happy new year. More to come from this channel in the new year 2024. And I will see you all on the next one. Thanks, everybody.